Hi there, welcome to this video where we will be completing the uh, Edexcel IGCSC ICT 2021 June uh, practical paper. Okay, so in this video, this is the paper that we will be completing. And if you guys require the paper or any of the data files, please do check the description below. I have given you a link uh, which you can open and then download the files as well as the data files from my cloud storage. Okay, right. Uh, before we attempt this paper or before you attempt this paper, it's important that you ensure you have the uh, following files with you. Okay, you should have a file called skiing, fact sheet, holiday website, and there's a images folder inside which there are multiple images as well. Okay, right. So I already do have these files. I already do have these files uh, with me. Okay, so I have these files, the question paper, as well as the images inside them. Okay. Right, moving on then, let's uh, let's get this, let's get started with this paper then. So over here, uh, this paper has two sections, okay? So we'll be having a graphics designing question, a database question, a web authoring question, spreadsheet, word processing. These are the various sections that we have in this paper. And then very important to know the scenario of this paper because this entire paper is based upon a scenario, okay? So over here, the scenario is that Sam is the owner of the Ski Run, TSR. The company offers skiing holidays in Europe. Uh, these are the company's contact details. Okay, so these are their details, contact details. And then there is something known as a house style. Okay, so the house style for, doc for company documents is a serif font for the company name. So when we say serif font, we are referring to a font that has pointy edges. Okay, serif means pointy edges. So we, have, so we need to use a font that has pointy edges for the company name. Okay, and the logo sh should always be in the top right. Okay, this applies only when we are doing anything for company documents. So if you are designing any letterhead, if you are designing any reports, okay, things like that, we have to keep this house style in mind okay right then let's get started with our very first question okay so coming up to our first question section a task a1 sam needs a logo to be used on some of the company's documents okay right open a new word processing document enter task a1 your name candidate number and center number in the header and save the document as task A1. Okay, so guys, I'm going to be saving all my files in one folder. Okay, so I have my data files folder, which is here. So in this very folder, I'm going to be saving all my other files as well. Okay, so I would recommend you do the same as well. Be organized, be neat with your work. Okay, use this as a practice. So when you go for your actual practical exam, there too, you will be able to practice. You will be able to do the same thing. Okay, otherwise you're going to be having files all over the place okay right so we are supposed to name this as task a1 so let's name this as task a1 let's open it up and uh, they have told us to enter some details in the header so this is my header section okay either i can come to insert and say header and then click on edit header that is one way of doing it or an easier way would be simply double click on this area and the header opens up okay so over here i'm supposed to type task a1 my name my candidate number and my uh, center number okay so for now i'm just putting one two three four you can do the same too now remember guys we are still inside the header okay we are still inside the header area okay i need to come out of it so there are two ways to come out of it number one is in the header footer ribbon you can see, sorry, in the header and footer tab, you can see there is something called close header and footer. So this is one way to close the header and footer. Or else the second method would be just come and double click on the middle of your page and the header would automatically close. Okay. So you just come and double click on the middle of your page and the header closes. Okay. Right. <clears throat> so this gray color area has been done. Okay. We have done this gray color area. Then task A1A, create the logo. Okay, so now you're supposed to create a logo. The logo must be fit for purpose. Now, guys, when they say fit for purpose, what they mean is what you are about to create should be, uh, it should serve the purpose of a logo. Okay, so what you're about to create, keep in mind, it should serve the purpose of a logo. And remember, what is the company that we are creating the logo for? We are creating it for a company that deals in what? is the owner of the ski run. It's a company that offers skiing holidays in Europe. So your logo, when you create it, for it to be fit for purpose, it should first look like a logo. And second, it should also be somewhat relevant to the business. It should be somewhat relevant to the ski run. So it should represent something about skiing. 
Okay, right, moving on. So over here it says it should be a simple drawing that combines lines and shapes. Okay, so you're basically required to draw the logo from scratch or create a logo from scratch. When you do that, you have to do it drawing and combine lines and shapes. It should represent skiing and it should also have the company's initials TSR. Okay, so for this particular activity, I'll be using paint. Okay, you can also use Photoshop, but I'll be using paint. Okay, so I'm going to go to start and I'm going to type paint. So I do have paint over here, open up paint and let me zoom out. Okay, so I need to draw something that represents skiing. Okay, so I'm not the best at drawing uh, something that represents skiing, but we'll get something close to it. Okay. Uh, let's, we have paint over here. Right. So uh, drawing the person and the ski is going to be difficult, I think. So I'm just going to draw the ski. And then you have two ski poles as well, right? So there are two skis, basically. It's a set. And then you have the two poles as well. So that's what I'm going to draw over here. So I would need something like a re rounded rectangle, uh, something like this, maybe. And I'm going to... Uh, Okay, I forgot to tell you, I want it to be a straight rounded rectangle. So I'm going to hold the shift key while drawing it. Okay, so it appears like that and then take my hand and pull it down like that. Yeah, something like this. So I have my first key over here. It's too long, maybe. Okay, then draw another key over here, the second key over here. Yeah, something like this. Okay, there you go. Okay, and then I also need the poles, isn't it? I also need the poles. Let's fill this. Let's fill this. How about if you fill it with blue color, maybe dark blue or light blue, maybe? Okay, and then I need to have both my poles as well. Okay, let me draw a straight line. So I'm going to hold on to the shift key, okay? I'm going to hold on to the shift key and draw my line like that. Oh, this has to be black color. Let's take black color for this. This is my first one. And then I think there is going to be something like a cross over here. Hold on and yes. And then there has to be a kind of a bar to hold, a handle to hold, right? So that, that kind of a circle needs to appear over here. How shall we get that? How shall we get that? Uh, can I get it with this? that and then like that no that doesn't work let's try let's try maybe uh, another rounded rectangle or maybe a circle it's gonna look like a sword maybe but it does not matter okay so this is basically the handle doesn't look very good uh but something better than nothing isn't it okay so let me get my other pole as well okay so guys if you can draw something much better where you can even show a kind of a clip art of somebody skiing okay if you want to get an idea you can maybe just since you're not doing an exam right now just to get an idea of how to draw something for skiing related just get onto google and, and type skiing clip art okay type skiing clip art okay and you may get an idea of what type of a logo you can design okay mm -hmm. so uh let me draw the other handle as well here okay something like that okay and uh, okay so i have drawn it okay terribly and i also need to have the initials tsr placed somewhere so i'm going to put tsr over here i'm going to draw a text box over here and put the initials tsr sorry tsr uh, remember now guys that in the, in the in the company scenario for the house style they said the font should be a serif font it should be a font that has pointy edges so this particular font does have pointy edges so it's all right okay so let's make it size 72 and uh, let me bring it somewhere in the center. Let's remove this space and bring this in the center somewhere over here. Okay, 
right once you are satisfied with that maybe if you want you can keep spaces tsr something like that okay right once you're satisfied with that guys one more thing you cannot keep unnecessary white space get rid of it so i'm going to select only the logo okay only the logo and the text and get rid of the remaining white space okay so now i'm going to click on crop okay so there you go so now i have exactly the logo only here okay uh Right. How am I supposed to save this logo as? It's supposed to be saved as TSR logo. Okay. So file, save as. And I'm going to save it as a PNG or a JPEG. It doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, make sure you save it in your correct folder. So in my ICT folder, I'm saving it as TSR logo. Okay. There you go. Right, so that's done. It says insert a copy of the logo into the document task A1. So let me do that immediately. Let me go to my folder, copy the logo, control C, come to task A1, control V. Okay, so logo is a little too big. Let's make it slightly smaller. Okay, let's come back to the question paper. Simon wants to include the logo on an existing image. Okay, he has an image saved as mountain skier in the images folder. Edit the image to add the name of the company and include the logo. Okay, he has, he has an image saved as Mountain Skier. Okay, so I'm going to do this as well in Paint. Okay, I'm going to do this as well in Paint. So uh, where we have this image called Mountain Skier. Where is it? So I go to my images folder. Mountain Skier is over here. Right click and say open with Paint. Okay, so we open it up with Paint. Let's zoom out. And I'm supposed to insert the logo. Can you see? Add the name of the company. Okay, let's add the name of the company. The name of the company was uh, D Ski Run, isn't it? D Ski Run. One second. Okay, Ski Run. So maybe we put it somewhere over here. We draw a text box from here to here and say D Ski Run. Okay, ensure be sure or ensure that it is a serif font that you are using because that was what the house style told us okay it has to be a font that has pointy edges in it okay then one more thing guys we also need to insert the logo the logo remember according to the house style it should always be in the top right so i'm going to go into my folder and i'm going to open this also with paint and i'm going to zoom or i can select it Select it from here to here. And I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to come to my paint over here and paste it. Okay, so it's obviously way too big. So from the corners while holding the shift key, I'm going to make it smaller. Okay, it's still too big, even smaller. Okay, and then top right corner. Okay, so somewhere over here. There you go. Okay, top right, right? Isn't it? That's what they said. How style says it should be in the top right. Okay, so that's where my logo is. Okay, so you have done it as they required. Okay, the name has been put. The name of the company has been put. The logo has been put. It follows the house style as well. Okay, so then next, what do we need to do? Next, what do we need to do? Uh, save the images mountain skier to in the images folder. So I have to save it in the images folder. Okay, right. -o. So let me do that. Save as. Don't click on save. Save as. Okay, because we want to change the name mountain skier to. Okay, I'll make sure it's in the images folder as well. Uh, and then click on save. Okay. The next thing that you have to do is insert a copy of the image into the document task A1 and save task A1. Okay. So insert a copy of it. So I go into the images folder, click on this, control C to copy, and then come to task A1, enter, bring it down, and control V, okay? So I have pasted it as well. Then moving on to the, oh, that's it. That's it. It says save task A1, okay? And then you're supposed to print task A1, so save it. And then to print it, uh, remember, control P is a shortcut key for print, control P. And then uh, give it a few seconds. Mine has got stuck. Okay. So then over here, just ensure it's fitting one A4 paper. And then you can go ahead and click on print. Okay. Once that is done, once that is done, we have then come to the end of the first uh, question, which is graphics designing. 
Thereafter, we move on to database where we will be using Microsoft Access. Okay. So, guys, I hope uh, the first one has gone well. I hope the first question went well for you all. If any questions, any problems, any doubts in the description, I have given you all, all the information how you all can get in touch with me. Okay. So, please do check it if necessary and see you all in the next video.